What's going on guys, Cobert here and welcome back once again to my Let's Play Banish series. Once again we're back at Failburg, which is anything but right now. I'm actually pretty stoked about this town. Um, I've put in a lot of work to kind of make sure I built in the right way. I kind of made some mistakes along the way, but nothing too crippling. I still got this little base camp going on here and it's actually kind of just chugging along. It's not doing anything great, but it's working. Oh man, I just waited through winter to start this recording so that you guys didn't have to see all the dreary snow and stuff and now it's got to rain. So. Uh, I, I greenlit two more houses. We, our food's looking pretty good. We're up to 8,200. Just got through the winter, like I said, so that's a good sign. I did just put in two fields. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start them now. The hopes is I can get different uh, crops, which I'm gonna have to do as trade settlement for. I actually might do that this episode or the next. Uh, but I did that because I wanted them as space holders. To then, this is going to be the field. Wow! Wow! Where did the uh, where did my laborman go? <laughs> So I'm going to hold off on that then, and we're going to hopefully get some, uh, I, I'm just trying to think, I might actually just okay this for one, well, we got peaches, and I'm going to add one farmer, and let him just get started on that, because I don't, like I said, I think the orchard takes a while, you know what, I'm, I've got a couple foresters here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm going to put my full continue to three guys in there. Uh, I'm going to make that investment. I'm okay on wood right now, and I can always get wood real quick if I need it. Uh, I was just trying to figure out how to ramp up my forestry, because my wood, uh, if you look, again, I'm looking at the charts here. My log production, well, that's actually, well, I did just, I clear cut a bunch of land. That's what that's from. Uh, I'm using about 250, but again, that that's, incorporates building as well, I think. Uh, I don't know if that is just actual other usage. I don't know. I have to assume it's probably, you know, building houses and things. I don't know. Well, well, I guess there's a couple ways we can run some experiments on that. 521 intake, I'm pretty sure that's because I cleared this land here for these fields. Um, we didn't have a great harvest last year. Uh, what happened was, this one got fully harvested. It's it's so close, there's so little downtime, they're, they're constantly working. You see that it's already jumping out of the box ahead as well. Uh, this one didn't. We had snow in early autumn, like I told you guys about, really, really pretty early. Some of these crops absolutely kind of decayed away, so we got only about a thousand there. We got about 1,500 there. So there you go. There you see the difference. And that's just kind of the proximity. And like I said, I think the, the best way for someone to do it is to put the barn in the middle. Uh, you don't even have to do houses around if you want. Just put a barn in the middle with the crops around, and you'll be pretty good to go. And that would be the most efficient to ensure that all crops are kind of getting worked on at the same level. I mean, I don't think you're losing that much by being this far away at the same time. I did go ahead and put in my orchard, obviously. Um, the roads are supposed to be worked on, but they're not getting worked on. I'm not really sure why that is. But there you go. Oh, I guess it auto plants the trees. I, I've never seen an I've never seen like an orchard plot. So I have three people in there. I, I'm gonna just forget about this now for a little while. It's gonna take a while. I wish these roads would get fixed. That's what I'm saying. I don't, oh, there we go. Someone is doing it. Don't understand why they weren't doing it earlier. I had like four or five laborers, but maybe they were off doing something else. Who knows? Um, it's got some road systems going in here. Um, we have to shift it a little here. You know, we, we've got some nice room here. This is a nice big open area that I can do kind of what I want with. It'll be our bread basket, if you will. But with this little hill here, I'm not going to be able to part, plant anything here. So we're going to kind of have to sneak around this hill and, and kind of avoid this hill. So it's going to get a little choky in here. So I'm going to have to figure out how to arrange things. Um, I'm probably going to plant some houses in around here again. Maybe, you know, that kind of stuff. Of course, stuff to just kind of support it, get it going. Yeah, see, this isn't even fully planted yet. Why is that? Where are these guys? Like, why are they so... I mean, these guys are pretty... Well, they're not that far ahead, actually. So it might, it might just be the difference in the... Okay, so one of them lives away here. Again, okay. So then who's in these houses? Farmer, farmer, child. All right, so families are taking it over. Okay, so I need another house is what it is. Not a problem. We can do that. I want my farmers... Living by the farm, down by the river. Just gonna pop two in here because I just put the orchard. Actually, I'm probably gonna do another one here. Keep it, keep it going. Like that's gonna be my little village. Like, it's kind of cool, actually. Nice, seems like a nice place to live, right? Down here by the river, nice quiet mountain. Mudslides push you right into the river. That's awesome. So this, like I said, this is gonna take a while. Uh, Cut down all the trees in the orchards. No, I don't really want to do that. Select the type of fruit. Peach is the only one. Harvest the orchard immediately. Okay. So I guess you can harvest, you know, if you're in a real real pinch, you can harvest it. We'll have to figure that out. Oh, these guys only take three, so that's good to know. I want to see some kids pop out of the school pretty soon. I need a couple more, a couple more people. 
A couple more laborers, a couple more builders. Actually, I don't know that one. I do need a builder. I'm going to actually green light all these houses now. This food's looking pretty good. Firewood looks pretty good. It's a good time to open houses so that... Uh, I think I showed you this initially in the first episode. You know, when houses pop, that's when they really do the most damage to your, your resources. Because the members of those houses then go and take firewood. They, they fill up food. Um, each house has an inventory. You know, and you can see right here, this guy's pretty set. He's got tons of food. You know, good amount of food. He could probably live a year. Who's in this house? So, yeah, he's got a full family in there. Probably live about a year with just what's in his house alone. And, and once they're, once it's in the house... It goes off my boards. I'm pretty sure of that. I think this is just the standing stock, which is basically this and the barns at this point. So uh, when, once these houses, you'll see, once people move in, what I want to do is just going to do a kind of a quick scan, see how we're doing. We don't have any, do we have any empty houses? I don't think we do. I think it's kind of the way we've been growing be kind of impossible. we got a couple single people. That's fine. And like I said, I just, I don't think there's any way to do it. Like this guy, he's probably a widower, you know, that kind of thing. But there are just some people that just don't seem to want to settle down. This is great. 1823 with a kid. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Make those kids. And there we go. Every, yeah, everything, again, he's probably a widower or just a weirdo that didn't want to get uh, settled down. That's fine. As long as he's working, he could have picked, you know, not so nice a house, I guess. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited to see how this looks once I get these filled in, too. You know, this is kind of a little headache for me over here. I might, like I said, knowing how I am, I might destroy these houses again. I have pretty abundant resources, 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 and kind of redo this stuff. Maybe push the school somewhere else. I don't know. I gotta give it some more thought because it just, it just bothers me all this spacing in here. Because um, this is gonna be nice and clean. And I, what I'm gonna have to figure out is how to then space out here on this on the shelf. But each, each, each layer of it is gonna take some, some getting, uh, some figuring out. I, I'm thinking about moving this. The problem is. This thing takes a lot of resources. Again, I have I have good resources, but it takes a lot of resources if I remember correctly. Um, let's just check food quick. Uh, it's still the ones from last year. 33 homes, 29 families. That's pretty good. I do need some houses, but I, I just queued up a bunch here, and I just queued up a bunch out there. So, I mean, that's going to be what? That's probably that's three houses I did, and plus two or two or so here. So that's five or six houses at once. That, that's plenty for one pop. So let's let that restabilize. So what I'm thinking of doing here, obviously, I, we're going to need a trade depot. That is something we are going to need. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure where I'm going to put that just yet. I might actually put it out here. That's kind of silly, actually. Hmm. What I may do then is, is get rid of this road, put it in here, and have the road kind of, this road come up this way. I think that's probably the best way. The two old, old age, old age. I have, I must say, I'm probably going to curse myself. Uh, it seems that we've been pretty good as far as the... Uh, accident front we haven't had any I, I my other saves I've had guys just like dying from trees falling and stuff all the time so um, now let me, yeah, let me check this and see if we can deduce anything as uh, I was gonna say let's check the wood logs used again this didn't update so this is pretty much only updates after the year it seems I'm just curious remember 257 521 that was this year's uh, next year should be quite a bit too because you know I did a bunch of houses uh, our use should be up uh, pretty much. I mean, we're booming though pretty good. I mean, look at the babies. 21 babies, 13 kids in school. So that, that shows we've had even more of an influx lately. Or, or people are going for the round 2 on kids. And 55 population. So it's just ramping up very nicely. Let's take a look at the map again just because I like to. <laughs> uh, we don't... Food, is, you know, that's actually... Yes, that's a good sign. You know, it's, uh, definitely want your food going up. Population there, 10 years. Let's take a look which 25 years should show us now. Yeah, there we go. I mean, that's that's a pretty, you know, these were off tough times. We were getting there, and then just now, recently, it's been really going pretty good. Citizens, let's see. Oh, I see. All right. Oh, there you go. So what is, uh, education is ramped up, obviously. Everything seems to be going up. We had some dip down here. I'm telling you, happiness was hurting. For real, it was, it was, it was, it was dicey for a little while. And there you go. You see the adults and the population are definitely ramping up a lot faster than that. Makes perfectly good sense to me. I just want to check this again. I like to keep an eye on that. There we go. A bunch of houses, more than families. So, like I said, we're going to want to uh, probably put down a trader depot. That'll be the objective for the rest of this episode. And then next episode, I will probably... I, I just... The thing is here, I know myself, right? <laughs> this is going to bother me until I fix it. So, we're pretty good on wood and rock, obviously, all this stuff. So, I'm, I'm just about to say... What I'll do probably is pop all these houses in here. This is going to give me probably one, two... 
seven houses. This is six. This is almost ten houses. So if I delete these, won't do much harm as long as these are here. These people will just move over there. Actually, might be better because it's going to get them closer to the farms in case everybody's living there. Uh, get rid of the town hall. That's going to be have some sting just because that, that's quite a bit of resources. These won't hurt so bad because when you destroy a house, you get some resources back. I don't know if you get them all back, but you get a decent amount. So when I then move some roads around as I build the houses again, it's, it's going to be a net of not much of a cost as far as resources, so that's cool. And then I'm just going to try to make it so that these are going to fit nice, just like these are going to fit nice. And I think over, after a while, it's just going to make a nicer look. I will probably get rid of the schoolhouse here. It just doesn't fit in the middle of a city, right? So I might even I'll move it up over here somewhere, maybe near the hospital over here. I would like to take the town hall and move that where I can see it. You know, this is obviously the perspective I've been playing the most. So I'd like to be able to see the town hall from the front. I think that would be nicer. Maybe over here, if I can get it to fit. I'm not exactly sure of the size. These are things I'm going to just kind of think about. Let's see if we can't make work. So for now, they get, yep, they got rid of the road for me. That's perfect. And then let's go in here and we will see about a trader, which is where, where is that guy? Um, there he is. probably isn't going to fit in here is the problem we're going to run into. So if it doesn't, it doesn't. There's not much we can do. It's not a very flat spot, so I think we can definitely do it. That would work. I don't want to have it like sticking so far out into the river, though. That barn it probably would have worked there perfectly fine. I'm tempted to get rid of this. Uh, I think I think I want to try and get rid of this because what I'd like to do probably is get this in here. I think it would just work better. You know, if I push the road back, it should fit in there. I think it'll just work better. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Sorry guys. So we're gonna get rid of that. That's, that's gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of the roads. Peel that guy back a little. Probably peel this guy back. I don't know. I thought I had to remove roads on. Alright, that should be not that big of a deal. Bump one in, uh, there we go. Uh, forestry, I'm gonna, I wanna leave it right there, cause I wanna make sure that I can do that. At some point I am gonna pull the trigger and put two more farmers in. What am I looking at here? Yeah, I wanna get that out of here. That should be laborers, yeah, there we go. They're, they're getting the stuff out of there pretty quick. And we'll see if we can't get this sorted out in this episode for you, because I, I think putting... Here's what happens. When the trader comes, you have to come and you have to go here and you have to interact with them. And it's just like, if I, if I have it way over here, it's going to be a kind of a pain in the butt. I just think right here it'll look kind of cool, especially down at the bottom of the city. It'll look kind of like the port section uh, between that and this dock and the bridges. It'll look kind of neat. So let's, let's see if we can make it work. If we can't, we can put it over here. Might even put it over here. What I probably should do is take these bridges, get rid of these, and put one bridge here. That actually might be a good idea. We'll have to look into that, depending on what happens. You know, if, if this goes here, then that's fine. We'll leave it as is, because I would, ideally would like to get a fit in there. All right, guys, let's take the barn out of here. It's empty now. Oh, you're going on the road first. Goodness. Building, oh, 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 no, 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 no. All right, this might go to be a long episode. Oh, this is interesting. I guess the one good thing is that it didn't happen too closely to... <laughs> We're going to put these around here. Yeah, look at them catching on fire. This could be pretty bad. Oh, I wanted to destroy those buildings anyway. I'm just worried about it catching on fire everywhere. So, alright, so houses are burning. They're catching, obviously. So what is going on? Like, what do I do here? I just let it burn out? Is there something I can do? Let's just pause it for a second, because I mean they're all burning, and this thing is spreading very quick, and it's clearly jumping a double road. That's concerning. The schoolhouse is probably going to go up. The market's probably going to go up. I'm just looking quickly at my resources. We should be okay, <laughs> as long as it doesn't burn everything. 
I just want to see if there's something I can actually do. Well, what I want to do here then. I want to tell. Oh, that's not. Well, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to tell them to stop removing this. This is no longer important, fellas. I want you focusing on whatever it is that you guys do. I hope this doesn't burn. Wells are supposed to help in the fighting of fires, and I, clearly I should have had more. I'm trying to see if there's any. I mean, this if this if this burns with all the resources, that could be a big problem. We could be in trouble then. But I mean, we have some raw resources out there, and that's pretty good to have those out there. But so let's just let it run. I'm gonna let it run slowly. See if I can uh, do that too. See what we can figure out here. First real disaster going on. I don't see anybody doing anything. No, that house just caught. Oh, there's the school. I think this whole city's gonna burn down. All right, they're all going to the well now. Looks like. No, nope, maybe they're not. Holy smokes, this is crazy. They are on bucket brigades, but I don't know what a bucket brigade is going to do here. This whole city is just going to burn down. It can all be rebuilt, but as long as I don't lose people. That's, yeah, the market's on fire. The whole city is going to burn down. So, what I'm, what I'm interested to see here... Oh, I was just going to say, I wonder if the stone... No, there's a, where's the... Oh, did I get rid of the wooden houses? Shoot. Yeah, I had stone houses, but I got rid of them, I guess. I wanted to see if the stone houses burnt as well. So that would clearly be an issue. Did they save that house right there? That's pretty funny. Is it weird that I'm, like, excited and happy to see this? Alright, so clearly we need to rethink... Market's gone. I gotta see. I'm looking. Food still seems okay. And it makes sense that their food production is down because people are here. They're obviously fighting a fire. Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about it. I mean, we can rebuild. It's gonna be a setback, that's for sure. I just wanna see if. And all right, and wow, because Jesus Christ, the babies just don't care. The baby's just being bored. Hopefully, my resources seems to be under control. Let's kind of get at people's. I will get your houses back and built very quickly. Hopefully, these guys don't catch. Houses don't cost me too much. I really wish I would have had some stone houses in there. This guy, I don't even understand. This guy's got to deal with the devil. I really wish I had some stone. There you go. These are going to burn. <laughs> uh, I really wish I had some stone houses. That would have been really perfectly ideal. Now, I'm going to... I don't know. It looks like... I'm not going to rebuild those. I'm not going to rebuild that. This I will rebuild, but I'm going to wait. Of course, the ones I could... Re the ones I'm okay with rebuilding... Actually, I think I could rebuild this one, right? And we're, we're late spring, so we got some time. And I'm going to have plenty of a workforce to do it. It looks like 20 laborers. Holy smokes. Is that because... No, they're all in their original jobs. They're just... My population is just exploding. Uh, I could probably rebuild that. I, I want to wait because I don't want it to catch on fire again. Alright, so it seems like they put it out in a fairly reasonable time. I mean, when you build a city like this, this is, this is the stuff that's going to happen. I'm going to have to be clear... It's a good thing I didn't start this project, right? So, obviously, wells are important. <laughs> and we're going to have to get there and do that. Come on, can we just get this out? No, you, I just not that I really care. I just want to get back on building and rebuilding everything. So that's what I would like to do. Let's see. Let's just click rebuild there. Wish I could just rebuild it right up straight into a uh, into a stone. No oh, man, jump to that one now. So they're all going to be on bucket brigade. So we're going to turn this up now to five. All right. So Let's get this fire, guys. Let's get it done. I should send some laborers to then. I'm just looking. Adult working labor caught fire. All right, so it hasn't been much news. Oh, jeez. Don't go back and burn all these now. <laughs> I just want to move on and start building again. I don't really care. What's going on, guys? Culprit here. Unfortunately, we crashed. So I'm just going to finish this episode. Unfortunately, you know, we see the fire is still burning. The previous version, I don't know what's still there, what's not, as far as my recording. As I'm, recor as I'm recording this, I'm just going to do this to wrap it up. We did stop the fire here, and this go-through, when I went back, the autosave, actually, there was, you know, some lag there. 
these buildings have burnt caught obviously that probably means that all these are going to burn down too so i'm going to sign off as the fire is going out hopefully <laughs> go out and we're gonna pick up next episode obviously and just start the reconstruction the great fire of year 30 i don't know where all these guys are going um they're homeless it's summertime, so we do need to get on, get going. We need to get on the grind. Okay, there we go. Fire's out. I'm going to wrap this episode up now because it's well over. And we're going to get right into We're going to come right back with the reconstruction. Take the opportunity to change some things up and stuff. So don't miss that, guys. Thanks for your support. I hope everything came out all right with the crash. I don't know. I, I will talk to you soon, guys. Take care.